Cold Steel Voyager Tonto. Is it worth the money? Let's take a quick look. So again, we have the Cold Steel Voyager. It is the large version with the Tonto blade. Uh, blade is four inches long. It's three and a half millimeters thick. It is Japanese AUS-10 steel. Um, it's a fairly hard steel. Uh, it does take a little extra effort to get it sharpened, but it does take a very nice edge. Uh, I do sharpen, them, sharpen all my knives to uh, till I can shave my arm with them. It's probably not a good habit to have, but I do it anyway. Uh, most of you probably do something similar. Um, the handle is five and a quarter inch long, made of Grivex. If you're not familiar with that, uh, it's a hard plastic. It's not rubberized, but you will not miss the grippiness of rubber. This pattern on here that they have uh, cut in is, it, it, it serves its purpose. And, and the shape of the knife, it, it sits very well in your hand. Um, I don't believe you'll ever have to worry about this knife slipping. It's a good utility knife. Um, it's got a good strong lock features there, triad lock, got a good crisp lock up there. Overall length is nine and a quarter inch. It's a large knife. You will know it's in your pocket, but it's not too cumbersome to prevent you from carrying it. I usually carry mine right up against the, the back side of my pocket so that when I uh, bend over or stoop down or whatever, it's just, it, it rides pretty naturally. So. Uh, I do call this one my pocket machete. Um, I say it's a large knife. Uh, I have been out mowing and come across some small finger size pine branches uh, that were too low and getting in my way. So rather than stop and go going to get a, an actual machete, I uh, had this in my pocket and made pretty quick work of them. So this is a pretty tough little knife. You can go on their website or anywhere on here on YouTube and check out. Uh, the durability and everything. There's lots of videos. Lots of people do full reviews. So, um, but if it's something you're looking for, my advice, uh, if it's worth the money, I think it is. Um, it seems to be a fairly streamlined company to deal with. I've dealt with them on their website and on uh, on the phone. Very nice, polite people. Ship uh, orders really quickly. So, uh, it's a great company to deal with. So, all in all, it's a big thumbs up for the product and company experience so if it's something you're interested in and you're wondering if it's worth your money you know i believe it would be so you decide just another opinion uh, we do have some more videos coming up soon uh, some steel products i think i mentioned before chainsaw a um, brush cutter um, brush cutters fs91 chainsaws the ms170 i believe i've uh, got those coming up uh, Promark drone. It's the GPS shadow drone. We're going to take a quick look on that. Uh, a few more things. Claris uh, battery charger, flashlight. Uh, we'll take a quick look at some of those things. And a bug just jumped on my board here. Sorry about that, but do check back with us and I appreciate you watching and see you next time. Thanks.